you know the thing that hurts me the most is that I have to watch the NBA Finals and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? <laughs> the United States? <laughs> hey guys. <sighs> I can't sleep so I'm just gonna make this video talk about sports. Do you guys remember, you know, 10, 20 years ago when your family, your parents, your neighbors, we were all excited for sports. We were all happy together. You know, true meaning of sports is fair competition. Seeing who's the best, right? And what really saddens me is today, we don't, we don't have any real sports anymore. Even most of the, the comments you see on social media are fake. It almost feels like everything now today is just made for promotion and manipulation. It is. It, the whole sports today are based on illusion, on manipulation. Whole social media content creation is based on illusion. It's not about what content you make. It's about how many people you can manipulate. How good that? How, how can you manipulate algorithm? How can you uh, manipulate your viewers? That's why a lot of comments on social media these days, if you check their creation date, are usually just few year old accounts. And why is this happening? Not only because people are greedy and manipulative, right? Because they wanna keep up this illusion that we are popular, right? This is what basically whole capitalism is based on, it's based on illusion. How long can we keep up the illusion? And when you see one of the biggest sports organizations in the world, and when you realize that everything is fake, it's actually so disappointing. It is, it's so disappointing. I feel like sports and esports are simply dying. Because most people are actually starting to realize how fake they are, how staged they are. They don't even have real rankings, no real tournaments. And they expect us to take us to take them seriously. Why would anybody, any young people take sports seriously when we realize it's all fake? Right? It's so disappointing. These guys, there are like so many fighters, so many passionate. MMA fighters, martial art fighter, you know. But they have no chance, they're just wasting their health in these uh, companies. Even if they pay them, it doesn't really matter, right? You have guys like John Bones, who constantly cheat in UFC. You have Conor McGregor, Khabib, who break rules but they don't care because they're making money for them there is no respect anymore no integrity no real rankings no real competitive spirit in sports anymore and that is what is the most disappointing and these big companies they don't care anymore because they all they can do is manipulate media make countless of promotional accounts not just one most of these comments are actually bots and promotional accounts here so instead of actually having real rankings or tournaments what every competitive player fighter wants they just sell their soul to Abu Dhabi or to, to whoever manipulate media with countless of promotional accounts and then the same guys will talk about business they will talk, talk about why sports are dying when they themselves are the reason why sports are dying they ignore 90% of their competition and still call themselves world champions just so they can make money out of it, right? And they give nobody a chance, no real rankings, no real competitive fairness. Is this really what today's sports is all about? <sighs> Man, sometimes I'm so disappointed in everything. Why are we allowing these big companies to take control over the world? Why is capitalism slowly destroying everything we are passionate about? Sports, esports, content creation, social media, everything. Oh 
honestly is kinda embarrassing. If I would run these companies, I would be embarrassed. Imagine being paid to lead sports and this is what you do. You manipulate real sport fans who still watch your videos. You you don't you don't even care to organize any real rankings or tournaments, what every sport is all about. What every <sighs> Like honestly, how can people even still have hope and trust in these big companies when you realize how they treat everything? And why would anybody even care about when... I mean... Imagine how big UFC Ultimate Fighting Championship could be if we would actually have real rankings, tournaments. It, they don't need to be one day tournament, they can be tournaments that last for months. The goal is to achieve true rankings, true competition. And if you get that, people will watch naturally, you will naturally get more sponsorship and viewership. Just check out Smite Esports 7 years ago how popular it was. How games, multiplayer games like Black Ops had millions of online users at the same time. But now, if you go on Smite Reddit, they don't even have 100 online users. And same thing will happen with all these sports organizations who have no idea, no vision, no real understanding of where, where, where sports are actually coming from. One day you just you just wake up and you realize everything around you is fake. Nobody understands themselves, their own character. We are basically all living in that's why people talk like we are living in the matrix because everything around us is fake. Especially in more capitalism societies like I don't know, I don't wanna go names but we all know. I would have no problems if people get paid for something they're good and passionate about. But when you when you when you intentionally gatekeep 90% of your competition and still call yourself world champion and still manipulate algorithm and media and all your viewers on social media, then any sports fan has problems with you. And why are we bringing religion to sports? Religion and sports have nothing to do with each other. Yeah, we, we all know that sports were always used as a promotion, okay? For countries, for their dedication. But not like this. Not like this, man. 